The trip planning function within Garmin Pilot is where all of the final touches are made for the planned flight. Once a trip has been created, you'll see it listed on the left side under Upcoming. In the trip planning area, there are four tabs located at the top of the page. In the tab labeled Form, we can see a trip header showing the origin and destination airports, the distance, required fuel, and estimated time en route, an estimated time of arrival for the trip. Below that, we see that this plan is not yet filed, and on the right side of the header, we see the blue briefcase with the green check mark. Touching that icon opens the route data screen that shows that all necessary data and procedures are downloaded and ready for use. Now we scroll through the form to ensure that everything is filled out as appropriate for this trip. If an item needs your attention, you'll see it highlighted in yellow. You would see the alternate destination highlighted in yellow if weather at the destination airport was forecast to be below 3 miles visibility or showing less than 2,000 foot ceilings within an hour of your predicted arrival time. Selecting Alternate Selection Guide provides a list of valid alternates in the destination area. In the Flight Info section, you can adjust your cruising altitude based on fuel burn and winds aloft. You can adjust your cruise speed and fuel burn rate, adjust your fuel quantity, and enter your number of persons on board. Once all of the data on the Form tab is set, we can select the Navlog tab to review a number of parameters at waypoints on the trip. To allow for customization, the column headers can be selected to change each column's information to show the information that you consider most informative. Selecting the Brief tab at the top of the page sends a request for briefing information, which then populates the page. Here you have selectors for expanding all briefing items, collapsing all briefing items, and opening the individual briefing items. These are the briefing items that pilots need to be familiar with for all flights. Note that the briefing can be updated as long as an internet source is available, simply by touching Refresh at the top of the briefing section. You'll also find a Weight and Balance tab within the Trip Planning function. Selecting that, and then selecting Edit Load Sheet, provides for adjusting the loading for your trip. If any of the Weight and Balance parameters are exceeded, you'll see the problems listed, and the weights will appear in yellow font. Note that your aircraft's Weight and Balance information must be entered into Garmin Pilot in order to provide for the Weight and Balance feature. With all the information entered and briefing complete, selecting the File button on the header submits the filing information. Soon after filing, you will receive an acknowledgement from ATC that your flight plan has been received. OK, now that you've gone over how to use Garmin Pilot to create and file flight plans, you should have a good understanding of how to use Garmin Pilot as an electronic flight bag in your operations. Our next video in this series is an example flight where we generate a flight plan, complete the trip planning, file the plan, and then fly the route while using available features in Garmin Pilot.